Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video where I'm going to go through my predictions for the IGCSE Paper 4 that's been completed in Pakistan in July and August 2021. So this is a kind of strange situation with the COVID situation where the IGCSE Cambridge have decided to just have one paper and the entire grade will come out of this paper. So it's kind of a unique situation and where I've started with my predictions is taking the almost certain categories from the IGCC predictions I did for 0580 a bit earlier on in April May time. So again please check out that video above me if you want to have a look through those predictions in more detail but if I was to do this exam in a couple of weeks time now, I'd certainly um, prioritise the almost certain category and work through it from there. So I've taken, this is the uh, from the paper four and also from paper two as well. And you can see there's not much crossover in topics. So you'll see there is a tendency to go into these big probability questions, looking at these big volume area similarity questions. So um, for example, what I think they could do, if you take our very top topic here, which is volume, error and similarity on the paper four, what they could do, and certainly is possible, is do a volume question, area question, but then combine quadratics into it. So they'll give you some lengths uh, in terms of x, x plus 2, x plus 5, and you have to use quadratics then to find the area of a particular compound shape. So that would combine the top topic here but also with general equation solving as well. If we take trigonometry, for example, which as you can see, uh, likes to appear on paper twos and paper fours, then I think they could certainly do a trigonometry question and then do some 3D parts at the end. So trying to fit in um, some more of these kinds of questions. You'll see here, for example, sine cosine rule is on my almost certain category in paper four, and it's also on trigonometry here on the paper two. So my best bet would be that trigonometry will appear in an extended question in some way. Um, likewise, with equation solving, general algebraic skills, so factorizing, expanding brackets, um, that's a, obviously an important topic to understand as well. But they might combine that with probability. So for example, they'll have some probabilities on the probability tree, but they'll write it in terms of x, and then you have to work through that problem. So my main prediction for you is that they will try and combine topics from paper four and paper two and they'll see where some of those algebraic skills can fit in to those paper four topics. So start with the list you see in front of you here. So make sure you know these seven topics very, very well. And then think about how they could test you on these skills. I imagine fractions will not be on the test, for example, so you can probably scrub that out. But then think how they can actually integrate some of the skills you see now in front of you into those paper four questions. So in summary, make sure you're prepared for the two slides I've shown you. Make sure you can do those particular topics because that will be essentially 50%, 60% of your paper. So make sure you can do that. Okay, good luck Pakistan and I wish you all the best for the exams. Bye bye for now.